Bro, I was holding this down. One thing about me, I'm not no cheater. I was holding this down. I went to go buy me a toy from jail. Me and Tyrone was experiencing a lot. So he like, I'm like, I got. There's a there's a sex store named Jail. Am I tripping? Got some toys. Before I even said something, he's like, "What you want to do to me with them?" Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Wait, I paused it at the wrong place. Toys. What she said? From jail. Me and Tyrone was experiencing a lot. So he like, I'm like, I got some toys. Before I even said something, he's like, what you want to do to me with them? What? What you want to do to me with them? What that mean? Tyrone, what you mean telling people the truth? I was eating your ass. You was eating my ass. We was eating each other ass. Bro, all my kids, bro, all my mama, Tyrone, I fingered you. Tyrone, I oh, put no. my finger in your ass, bro, and it went straight in there, bro. I swear to God on Aubrey, folks. On my daughter that's in there eating cereal, folks. On my daughter. Tyrone. Hey, man, some of y'all, some of y'all freaky ass niggas, man. You got to pick and choose who you out here fulfilling your fantasies with. Because you girls ain't playing fair now. They're going to put you on blast when they get upset. She was happy to see me again. I purposely wanted something sent to me so I can oh, see you and see, look, hey, look, you, you, you got it. You got <laughs> it. Look at her. Look at all the fine ass stuff. I'm so excited to see you. It's so cool. It's good to see you. I'm going to start ordering every day and having FedEx deliver to me so that you will deliver the packages to me. Just so I can smell you. I'm single too now. I'm single too now. And I'm not. But you know, the ring does come off. Oh. Hey, yo. Take that package before you take something else. All right, take care now. Hey, bro. She wants something brown and it ain't UPS. Yo, talk about. <laughs> she wants something brown and it ain't UPS, man. That's all I'm gonna say. The fuck? Why are you digging in this pants, man? Oh, nah! Nah, nah, that's. I'm good. Yeah, that's it. That's the video. Ask and you shall receive. Story time on how and why I pooped in my ex-boyfriend's car. Um, also, I'm going to do like a little get ready with me while I tell you guys. Yo, I'm mad she said that like it was so damn normal. That's not normal. Maybe I'm tripping. It's because I got stuff to do, so. So, my ex-boyfriend, who we are going to call Jay, Jay was not a very good man. <laughs> um, he was um, a typical narcissist and would gaslight the fuck out of me and, you know, the typical, typical shit. So, I had like an inkling that he was doing something that he wasn't supposed to be doing. So, the investigator in me went full force to find out what he was doing and who he was doing it with. During my investigation, I found this address that he had frequently visited, and it was like a residential, like a house, you know, a residential address. And so I had to further investigate, and I found out it was a girl's house that he had been like, that I had some weird feelings about, right? On this faithful day, I, um, I'm like calling him, calling him, he's not answering the phone, and I just know, you just know. So I'm like, all right, bitch, pull up. So that's what I did. When I get to the house, lo and behold, his car is parked in the driveway like it's supposed to be there. Um, and my stomach is already on fire on the way over there because I already knew what I was going to find. Like, I already knew. All right, so I'm knocking on the door. I'm calling him. I am honking, like, outside looking like a complete idiot, okay? So after maybe, like, five minutes of honking and doing the absolute most outside and them inside doing whatever they were doing, not caring about me, um, it dawns on me to, like, go to his car. And, like, first my intention was to, like, do something to the car, to damage the car, of course. But I didn't have any weapons on me, like, to hurt the car. 
but I did have my bubble guts. So, um, I opened the front door and, okay, first, everyone keeps asking me, did I wipe? Yes, I wiped. I wouldn't just pull my pants back up and have like a shitty butt. I'm classier than that, right? So I went to my car and I found like an old t-shirt or something that was in the trunk. My shit ain't pausing. Hold on. I ain't gonna lie. Classy, classy women don't take doodles in people's car. Because that is beneath you. Alright, my beautiful black sister, that is beneath you. I'm mad she said classy. Someone suggested I should have done the registration papers, wiped with them, and that's genius. So I did my thing in the front seat. And I was really quick about it because I was scared that they were going to come outside and see me defecating in his front seat. Um, and then I wiped with my shirt, of course. Um, and I hopped back in my car and I took the fuck off. But when I left, I sent him a text message. The text message was very cryptic. It was like, um, since you want to put me through all this shit, you can sit in my shit on the way home or something like that. I don't know. It was, it was very clever, whatever it was. And yes, we ended up hooking up sometime after that. <laughs> a lot of times when I hear these uh, relationship stories, I want to hear both sides. Because there's always two sides to a story. Then there's the truth. So she called him a narcissist. There's a lot of narcissistic ass people walking around here. But one thing for certain, a narcissist will be quick to call another person a narcissist. I'm not saying he's right for like cheating on her. Cause cheating is not is not good, bro. Cheating is bad, man. Like, you might as well just lead a relationship if it's not meeting up to your standards. I'm I'm gonna say that. You feel what I'm saying? But I would love to hear the whole story. Like I would like his, I would like Jay's side. Like what happened, bro? Like were y'all really together? You know what I'm saying? Were y'all really in a relationship, or was it one of them type of situations where she thought y'all were more than than y'all really were. Because I, listen, I've seen some some shit. You feel what I'm saying? I've seen some situations where a girl and, and a chick, they're just dating, like, but they're talking to multiple people. You feel me? Because women talk to multiple people. And the moment that the chick find out that, like, I, right, you know, he talking to other people too, she wild out, put a bag of sugar in his gas tank. I know, he be watching my videos. My bad, folk. But shorty put a bag of sugar in this man's gas tank, bro violated and it was another joint too this bitch was smart this 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 how you could tell like i got some ancient friends but i have another homeboy he was talking to this chick and like shorty knew about cars so he was wrong but what she did was even more fucked up she went to the um she went to the gas station and she pumped a jug full with um with what you call it with diesel. She put diesel gas <laughs> in a jug and came back and put the diesel gas in this man's car and fucked his whole car up. If you know anything about cars, you know that your regular gas tank ain't, ain't built for diesel gas. So yeah, she put diesel gas in this man's car and fucked his whole shit up. I, I'm going to be real. At the end of the day, I do feel as though he deserved it. This is me being honest. He deserved it.